Have any of you taken the MSF class? Yes. Did all of you have to stop your motorcycles from a 20, 20 mile an hour speed within 23 feet? Yes. yes. Is anybody in this room 300 pounds? <laughs> have you ever known a motorcyclist 300 pounds? Yes. What's the average weight in an MSF class? Maybe 180 pounds. Did the 300 pound guy get a handicap? Or did he have to stop his bike in 23 feet just like you? Yeah. Right. If he's heavier and significantly slow compared to those 250 cc bikes, shouldn't he get a handicap? Or, or is it your opinion that the MSF is essentially fair? The tests are essentially fair? I would think they are. Now, how is it true what I allege, and that is, adding weight is a self-directing problem. When you add weight, you add traction. Traction means you have the wherewithal to use more braking energy to brake without losing traction. So, when you get on your motorcycle, and you figure out how fast you can stop that bike, and then you put your significant other on the back seat. And once you have learned how to handle that machine with additional weight, I assure you, you can stop it just as fast as you did before. It has more mass and weight. You have to use more energy to stop it, but you have the traction available to use it. All you have to do is squeeze your brake harder and you stop just as quickly. 